I think initially what drew me to ceramics was the fact that you could use your hands and create something very, very quickly. It was the immediacy of what was in, in your head, straight out onto the bench. As a child, I, I suffered quite severely from dyslexia. So working with clay, shape and form was, was a natural affinity uh, because of my condition. Being on the wheel is definitely the best part of my job. It's where I can really lose myself. Um, it, I, I can really immerse myself in, in what there is to do. It's very, very relaxing actually. And it's a great place to think because you're doing this repetitive thing and all of a sudden your mind switches off and your hands take over. And because you've done it for so long, the exactness of it and the execution of what you're doing it is so natural that your mind just takes, takes off and you just start thinking of all sorts of things. Sometimes it's really easy. The concept comes straight together. Um, and sometimes it takes a bit more time to really think about it. That sort of click of inspiration is, is brilliant. And you don't get that every day, but you, you do get the occasional time once or twice a month where something really clicks and it's fantastic. I would like to think that I would never produce a mug just to stick it on a shelf and sell numbers. That's not what we're really about. The thought of waking up one morning and not doing what I do um, would, is just uh, unimaginable. Unimaginable. You have to do it. I have to do what I do. I think if you have a certain calling or a certain mission to actually have to do something, you have to do it. If you don't do it, it's not worth breathing. <laughs>